Jack Revolt, welcome back. Do you approve? Oh, very good, very good. I think they've seen that we've been pretty successful on the show. Mm. Like we have had Jordan, obviously, had some success, yeah. and then uh, Bob in 2016, and then we were like... Oh, Surly was, was one of the Surly, originals. Yeah, and then now yeah. I think every club's seen that usually the Premier comes from this show. So <laughs> Thanks for taking their hands up. Thanks for taking a pay cap for the salary cap to fit them <laughs> all in. We have got a bulging salary cap. Do we? Oh, I don't. Know. So <laughs> around the country up. we go. Let's head up to Brisbane and Lion Lockie Neal, a Brownlow medalist. Lockie, welcome to the 360 family. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jared and Robbo. It's a pleasure to be a part of it. I've watched the show a little bit, and um, great to finally be on the show. How's life in Brisbane, which has been uh, racked with flooding over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, it's been good. Um, clearly, the floods and um, the people affected by that wasn't great. Um, we're feeling for, for everyone impacted. Um, there are a few at the club that were impacted as well. I know the girls' team, there was a couple of houses there and a couple of the boys as well um, flooded a little bit, but our damage wasn't too bad compared to a lot of people, so really feeling for the community. Um, but hopefully um, we get back on track really quick and... You can see already the streets are a lot cleaner and everything, and, um, yeah, sh I'm sure it won't take too long. It's not all beer and Skittles when you come on, Lockie. We've got to ask her a couple of curly ones. It, it, was, it was a tough end of the year. The Lions finished fourth and they went out again, um, which is, on footy sense, that was really disappointing for, for you and the club. Good news, you, you and your wife had a baby, and a couple of weeks later I'm reading that you might be wanting to leave the Lions. The next week I'm reading, no, no, I'm staying, and the next time I hear from you was last week and saying, you know what, it's, it's, everything's cool. Everything's cool. Is this the professional um, level that AFL's got to now? If it gets out, you just talk about it and move on. Yeah, I think um, for me it was um, all about family and um, doing what's best for, for the family. It had nothing to do with football and in the end we decided what was best for our family is to stay in Brisbane and um, we're well supported here. The borders are opened um, in Perth now, which is great. Jules has actually just been over with Piper for three weeks to visit her family and, and friends. Um, so for me, it was um, a decision that I was thinking about. Um, it probably got rushed a little bit and in the off season, we would have liked to have had a couple of weeks, but uh, I feel like we would have come up with the exact same result. I love the footy club. I love the players. I love the coaching staff and everyone involved. So um, for me, uh, I'm just really grateful to, to still be a part of the Lions and can't wait to get stuck into this year. What was the one night like, Lockie? So it was straight after the disappointment of finals and it suddenly becomes public. It was there a holy hell, what does this look like when I go in tomorrow? Yeah, it was um, a bit of a weird one. I was actually with a few of the players. Obviously, we just lost um, a final pretty heartbreakingly by one point. So the timing wasn't ideal, um, but I know these things happen. Um, but to the boys' credit, they were fully supportive, um, got around me, and I basically just switched the phone off and then dealt with it in the morning. And um, <laughs> we just had to come together as a family and, and my friends as well, um, a few of them I spoke to, but more importantly, my family. And what we figured out over that sort of 48 hours, it was a quick process, but we pros and cons and weighed it all up. And in the end, it was best for us to stay in Brisbane. I pick up the uh, the weather report every day, like, and it says Brisbane, 27 degrees. Can can I ask you why have you got your heater on in your house? <laughs> has, it, has it suddenly got really cold up there? <laughs> yeah, well, the uh, the camera crew that you've sent here, Robbo, has uh, decided it'd look great with the fire on. Yes. As you said, it's 27 yes. degrees outside. That's that's pumping out about 35 degrees, yeah. and my back is uh, is sweating profusely. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the aesthetic on television. I've told you this over and over, <laughs> Robbo. Um, Jack, the eve of the season, does it... Does every year, does it, does it create the same excitement in you? What's it like as you... Um, as you head towards the latter days of your career? Uh, no, I think this year's probably a, li a little bit more special, I reckon, just for the fact that we haven't had um, fans, well, here in Victoria, haven't been able to have fans at the footy for a long time um, and haven't been able to have big crowds. Uh, obviously, we go in to the weekend with the AFL forecasting 400,000 people to go through the gates and... Uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a longer break than we would have usually had over the last six years, uh, but one that we're very excited to get out there on Thursday night and go up against the arch rivals. You guys are the most, well, one of the most intriguing 
teams and oh, get us, let us into your mindset a little. I know you've spoken already, Jack. This time, the, most years, for the last five years, it's who are you tipping? Oh, we're tipping Richmond. We think they're going to do it. This year, it's can they do it? Will they fight back? You know, that, to outside, that creates great interest in, in, in footy. I can understand that. Yeah. Internally, um, you, you must be, are you feeling different? You know, 217, you won it. It goes a long time ago. 217 to, to 222. Is, is there a different feeling that you, you're being challenged? Yeah. The great Richmond team is being questioned? Well, you, you're actually still allowed to tip us. So if you do think we can win it, you're allowed to tip us. But we. I think that it's there's the turnover in football clubs, and like you think successful groups stay together for so long. But I mean, we, we've got five new kids that have come into this football club now, and, and I believe that there's a there's a little group that's starting to form, especially with those five kids and some kids we've added over over the the last couple of years. They're starting to become a new, new little nucleus, and you just need sort of two, three, four of them to pop up, and they can fit straight into the side, and they'll fill holes that players that have left. That's what you guys so did, mate, back so then. It, 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 that's, I, I'm, I'm really excited about what this season brings, just for the fact that we get to go and play footy again in front of the crowd. But um, there's, a, there's always an air of confidence about our football club, and we've been there and done that, and we know what it takes to, to, to get to the highest level, and we feel like we've still got it in us. So for you, Lockie, the journey of the Lions is a couple of years in the top four without seeing a preliminary final. So how does that fuel what you're setting yourselves up for? Yeah, it fuels us greatly. I think um, there'd be seven teams that made finals last year that are disappointed with their season. A couple that missed out that feel like um, they're a realistic chance to, to hold up the cup as well. And um, we feel like we are too. So everyone starts 0-0. We know that. We know there's a lot of hard work before we get to the finals. Um, but hopefully we do enough to qualify again and give ourselves um, the best shot at, at winning a premiership. Right, lucky. So when it finished last year, you're doing reviews and you're thinking about your footy. Where did you think, where's that one area that you think that you and the Lions must get better at to, to get past qualifying final and get into a prelim and get past a preliminary final? Is it, is it too easy to say experience? What, what, what do you think you have to get better at? Yeah, I think um, individually, uh, put my hand up and say I had a horrible off-season and, and pre-season and never got fit so my um, individual goal was to be as fit as I can for this season and hope that the body holds up throughout um, the off-season and pre-season which, which it did which I'm really grateful for um, and as a team I think in the last um, three final series we haven't stood up in, in big moments um, in scenarios we probably hadn't trained those scenarios enough um, and watched enough vision about what happened and I think um, we've gone back and relive some of those moments that you don't want to look back on and um, figured out that we weren't standing up in those moments and um, I think defensively we can get a lot sharper especially as a midfield and we've put a lot of time and effort into that we brought in Cam Bruce um, who's really focused on our transition running as a midfield I feel like we've got a really fit group we've brought a few more guys um, through there as well which is exciting and um, hopefully we'll see a, an improved Lions outfit for 2022. How are you going to go biting your tongue Jack? Oh, horribly. Yeah, no, horribly. I've already Don't away, be that guy. I've already given away two fifties in the preseason games, so that's that's two meat trays into the Thursday morning raffle. So <laughs> I've worded up the butcher that I might be up for about a couple of grand this year. But it is it's bloody difficult because there is there's dissent where you yell at the umpire, then there's also just asking for maybe just <clears> giving a bit of feedback and asking for a, an answer back. Just got to keep it PG rated. So you're dead, aren't you? Oh, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> a hundred buck meat tray every week. Jack. Luckily enough, I've actually won. Yourself. I've won two meat trays in the last two weeks, so I've <laughs> donated and then received. So, but you uh, know, it's a good. It's for the greater cause. It is. You, you, you yeah. accept that or not? It is. It is. It is. And it's got to be, though, doesn't it? No, one hundred percent. There's, yeah. there, there's, like any new rule, um, it will find its. Find its yeah, end, I think. <laughs> You'll have to find oh, the level, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. Lucky, uh, great to have you as part of it. We look forward to conversations throughout the year. 
Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Just wipe that sweat off your brow, <laughs> can you? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, good luck Thursday night. Voice. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the hard yards, silly. <laughs> Lockie Neal and Jack Revolt with us on Players' Night. A special watch list. A Tuesday edition of the watch list next. Lee Montagna and David King will set you up for what's to come tomorrow night when Melbourne and the Bulldogs come together again.